I've been getting a lot of questions from students about why we do the opposite operation when we're solving an equation and why that cancels out and becomes zero. And so what I want to bring you to your attention is if you look at this example, x plus 5 equals 7. Let's think back to when we used hands-on equations. And if we take the same equation, x plus 5 equals 7, and we think about how we used to solve them with the hands-on equation pieces. If we solve them with the pieces, what we would do in this case is remove the same number from both sides or the same number of x's. But in this case, we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. right? And the way that we do that, we just take away the 5. And here we go and we look at this 7 and we're going to actually change that if we subtract from that we're going to change that to a 2 and so x equals 2 well if we do exactly the same thing on paper what we would do is go back to this equation just written out algebraically we're going to subtract 5 from both sides which is the same thing as taking away the 5 number cube and then we're left with the x plus 5 x minus 5 cancels out because we took away that 5 that was there, and we're left with simply x, which is equal to 2. Because those are equal, sorry, because those um, cancel out, the plus 5 minus 5, the same thing, they're opposites. So when we're subtracting 5, the way that we would get rid of this plus 5 sorry, the way that we get rid of this minus 5, is to add 5 to both sides. Because minus 5 and plus 5 are opposites, we're going to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. We're left here with subtracting 5 and adding 5 are opposites, so that simply goes away. We have x left on this side of our equation, and 9 plus 5 equals 14. You'll notice that when you plug in this answer into the original problem, it will check. So if you look at x equals 14, 14 minus 5 equals 9, which is equal to 9.